Do your hands feel like they are always trapped? Are your fingers constantly bent and stuck, making it hard to move? Our hands without free movement can limit some of the most basic functions in our daily life. In certain scenarios where the hand is stuck and unable to release, it can result in devastating consequences. Today, we will give you the two most likely causes of your problem, trigger finger or Dupuytren's contracture. We will discuss the difference between these two conditions, the causes and treatment options. Hopefully, this video can help you understand and manage this disabling condition. Trigger finger is a painful condition when the tendon we use to bend our finger down is inflamed and swollen. Sometimes the affected finger even gets locked in the bent position. It can happen every time the finger is bent, that require constant stretching to prevent the next painful locking. This patient's trigger finger is currently locked. It then snapped free with pain. Trigger finger is caused by swelling of the flexor tendon. As the finger bend down, the swollen portion of the tendon travel under a tight tunnel in the palm called the pulley. This causes the finger to be locked in a painful, bent position. Every time the tendon is forcefully unlocked to straight, it creates more trauma, inflammation, and swelling to the tendon, causing a vicious cycle. On the other hand, Dupuytren's contracture is a condition affecting the fascia of the palm. Palmar fascia is a tight sheet that sits over the flexor tendons and spread all across our palm and fingers. Its function is to anchor the skin to prevent slip during our grip. Dupuytren's contracture is formed from overgrowth of the fascia and the overlying skin, resulting in gradual pulling down of the fingers. This cause finger to be permanently bent. It can poke in the eye when washing face, making it hard to put gloves on, difficult getting hand into the pocket, and sometimes even shaking hands. Trigger finger can often be forced straight when it's locked. In Dupuytren's the finger is always bent. There is often a deep swollen painful tendon nodule in the palm of the trigger finger, whereas in Dupuytren's a tight band with tethering of the skin is easily felt. In contrary to trigger finger this is often not painful. Diabetes and rheumatoid conditions are common cause for swelling of the flexor tendons leading to triggering, as well as overuse and trauma. While Dupuytren's contracture often is associated with strong family history, both of these conditions can slowly progress and sometimes deteriorate rapidly over weeks to months. If this applies to you, it's worthwhile seeking treatment early from medical professionals. Trigger finger can be self-managed initially with anti-inflammatories to control pain, as well as regular finger stretching exercise. Finger splint can be used occasionally for severe cases. If symptoms persist, a cortisone injection can be placed into the sheath around the affected flexor tendon. This is an effective treatment that may last for several months. Lastly, after multiple injections, surgeon can release the pulley and relieve trigger symptoms permanently. This can take up to six weeks to fully recover. Dupuytren's contracture unfortunately does not respond well to splinting or therapy. It's best to seek medical help early if your finger is deteriorating rapidly. Needle release or enzyme injection can help to straighten the finger by breaking the tight band that tether the finger down. However, with a high risk of recurring, surgeons can cut away all the Dupuytren's tissue with low chance of the disease coming back. The recovery can take three months. I hope you have found this video helpful. If you enjoy it please give us a thumb up and subscribe for other useful contents.